Hi, this is Jay from MacMost.com, and I'm about to press the power on button for the very first time on my brand new iMac. We'll see what happens. Of course, it would have helped if I would have known where it was, but here we go. So on the left-hand side, which is different from the old iMac, okay, and we see the screen lighten up, and there seems to be about, oh, it's a three-quarter inch border of black around the, the screen. And this, of course, is supposedly 20 inches diagonal LCD screen. We've got our Apple logo, which is first time booting up, I'm sure. And what I've got here is I've got my Mac Mini powered on and close by, and I have a 20 inch LCD for that also. And I have a FireWire cable with two male large connectors on it. And what I'm going to use that for is when I get into the Migration Assistant, which will allow me to move all the data from my Mac Mini to my new iMac. Okay, the first thing we do is we choose English as our main language. And we get the starting Mac OS X that went fairly quickly. screen. I do have a Mac and I want to transfer my information from another Mac. Okay, so we go continue. Okay, connect FireWire cable. Okay, I want to connect FireWire between this Mac and my old Mac. Okay, this involves, of course, going behind the machine. turn it around here and uh, one of the new changes is that uh, there's both a FireWire 400 and FireWire 800 receptacle on the iMac so if you're into video editing like I am is that that's a definite feature to be able to transfer at FireWire 800 speeds and but my mini is a FireWire 400 and so I hooked a FireWire 400 cable between the two. Okay, I've done that. Now I press continue. And now I need to restart my old Mac while holding down its T key. And hold down the T key until you see the FireWire symbol on your old Mac. So I'll go ahead and grab that mouse. mouse go up to it's Apple menu, hit restart, and hold down the T key. Heard the Apple chime key and you'll notice that we have a FireWire logo on the screen of my Mac Mini and I get a FireWire connection established. I press continue and it says transfer J Schaefer, my home folder, network and other settings, my applications folder, and the files and folders on Mac Mini. OK, 
okay, and it's calculating. And I got the uh, 500 gig uh, iMac. They come default with 320 gigs, and so that's why I had to order it through the Apple Store. But uh, so we're uh, doing some calculations here yet. Okay, so we now know that it's 47 gigabytes in my home folder, uh, 10 kilobytes in my network settings, and it's going to be uh, quite a few gigabytes here when we uh, calculate everything out. And so it tells me the remaining space that I have on my, uh, my uh, hard drive, and it's telling me how many gigabytes my selected items are. And there we go. So it's 54.1 gigabytes that I'm going to transfer over to my 500 gigabyte drive. I'll go ahead and press the transfer button. And this may take a while, so you might want to go find something else to do. This has been Jay with MacMost.com.